Hey, I'm Kendara Blake, author of the Three Dark Crown series and this season's Epic Reads author in residence, which means that for the next several months, I'm going to be recording videos in which I get to recommend to you some of my favorite books. So let's just get started. The first video that I want to do is recommending some really great series starters, just starts the series that I love. I've chosen a, a bunch of different ones. Some are ongoing series, some are completed series, some are extremely old, and some have just started. So obviously I have not read all of the series to completion, but it does not matter because we're just talking about the starters. The first book I'm recommending to you as a series starter and a great series starter is Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. Oh, it's flashy. Oh, it's golden. I read this book a really long time ago. Um, I think I was in seventh grade and I just fell in love with it. Um, if you read this book or if you haven't read this book, it is basically about, well, it's an interview with a vampire. Um, it's about a vampire who becomes a vampire and how he really struggles with all of that and has some crazy vampiric adventures. Uh, it is wonderfully dark. It is wonderfully lush. Some people look at it and go, oh, it must be really like scary or horrifying. It's not. It's not at all. Um, but the writing is extremely addictive. So like if this book was a meal, it would be like one of those meals that they would serve at like Downton Abbey. If Downton Abbey, if they ate people at Downton Abbey, which so far they haven't, but um, fingers crossed for the movie. I really love this book. It is considered, even though this is I think written in like 1978 or something ridiculously long ago, uh, it's considered an ongoing series now because she has started releasing new ones after like a decades long hiatus. The newest one is Blood Communion, which I have not read yet. I'm actually two books behind in this series that I've devoured since I was a child and I feel very ashamed. Uh, Blood Communion is the newest one and I still have not read uh, Prince Lestat and the Realms of Atlantis, but I have read Prince Lestat, which I was very impressed with. I, I really enjoyed it. So that's why I feel good about recommending people, you know, get into this again. Also, there are constant rumblings that there are going to be, um, it's going to be made into a, another movie or a TV series, which, you know, who knows, that may never happen. Um, but either way, the books are so worth it. Next up is a brand new series that just kicked off this year um, by a very talented writer that I know named Kristen Simmons. This is The Deceivers. It is a book about a school for con artists, which I didn't really know how much I loved con artists until I read the second book in Catherine McGee's Thousandth Floor series and had um, it has several chapters from the point of view of a glorious just grifter and her mother. Uh, so when I heard about Kristen's new series, The Deceivers, basically set where a girl um, who is really streetwise and knows a lot of ways to like pigeon drop and pickpocket and just con the wealthy out of um, a little bit of stuff here and there to just to get by for herself um, in her neighborhood, she gets drafted into this school for upper crust con artists and uh, it's really really fun. It's uh, very, I don't know, I always love Kristen's characters. They're, they're just spunky and they're just scrappy. And I read this thing in like two sittings, which I'm a really, really slow reader. So that tells you it's good. I can't wait to see where she takes it next. Series starter number three is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Both my husband and I are big fans of this series. Actually, when every new book comes out, we kind of fight over which one of us gets to read it first. Uh, thankfully, he started to read audiobooks, so now I don't have to just smack him with the hardcover repeatedly until he succumbs. Nevernight is the story of young would-be assassin Mia Corvair. And, well, I guess uh, I'm, I'm going with like a school theme because the last was School for Con Artists, and this is kind of part of it takes place within a school of assassins, which was extremely fascinating. But you know what, honestly, my favorite part of this book is uh, Jay uses footnotes to kind of 
enhance the world building. And normally you read footnotes and you're like, oh God, footnotes, it's like a textbook, I wanna die. But Jay actually writes these footnotes in this um, delightful, sarcastic, snarky voice. I swear like one footnote was just like a little asterisk and then like, bitches. Uh, so he's just, it's just really fun and some of the best side stories and subplots, not really subplots, but are found within the footnotes. Also just the aesthetic of this book is great. Um, there are so many excellent weapons and excellent ways to kill people, uh, which if you know me, I really dig that stuff. And it follows, oh, there's a cat. Oh God, I almost forgot to mention the cat. There's a cat who's not a cat. I know he's not really a cat, but he's shaped like a cat. He's made out of shadows. Um, and he eats me as fear for her to help her in her quest. But this book kind of follows the uh, John Wick philosophy of revenge, which is my favorite philosophy of revenge to get behind, which is basically if somebody kills one of your pets, they are dead. They are dead, all their associates are dead. We're going to kill every single last one of you. Rest in peace, Captain Puddles. Okay. This next series starter is kind of a complete series, kind of an ongoing series because the world of it is ongoing, but this particular installment is, is finished. This is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I know you guys have already heard about this. This is a very famous series, um, not wrecking anything new, but this has been published quite a few years ago now, so it might be a good time to loop back around and, you know, start it up again. Uh, this series actually is being included at the behest of my husband, um, who i had been telling him, you'll probably like this series. I've been telling him that for years, but he waited until another one of his army buddies suggested it. Like he actually brought every single one of the books in and like slammed it down on my husband's desk. It was like, you need to read this, bro. Sidebar, I think he trying to like avoided this because he thought, well, maybe it was too romancy or in like guys wouldn't, he wouldn't like the romance, but you know, that's BS. Uh, guys, girls, whoever, whoever, where you ever you are along the spectrum, you just read whatever you want. So the last book that I am recommending, the last series starter is one of my favorites. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Uh, Cinder is basically, well, the easiest pitch for it is if Cinderella was a cyborg. I mean, how do you beat that? It's just delightful. The characterization is wonderful. Uh, it's full of action. It's full of heart, like all of Marissa's stories are. So Cinder kicks off the Lunar Chronicles, which Cinder is the first, and then it is Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and winter and each one features a different classical princess classical fairy tale and they just you know spin it on its head within this fantastic uh um like war android space battle it's 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 really really great i read this one so so fast there's so many familiar elements from the stories that you love but she takes them and she she changes them and she reinvents them in such such novel ways that I really love it. Well, those are all the recommendations that I have this week. In the next video, I will be back and I will be in costume because let's not just like, I don't want to ease you into it. I just want to like, just get you, get you into the costuming right away. Um, and I will be recommending some classics. So be sure to tune into Epic Reads and subscribe for more great book related content and um i'm on the social medias too if you want to follow me there otherwise i will see you next time hi i'm kendara blake author of the three dark crown series thank you so much for watching for more videos click here and to subscribe to epic reads click here